Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian. The season's kind of, uh, you know, winding down. There's not a whole lot to do. I'm just chilling in the tower. Hey, wait! I could make you a guide to show you what you should do before the end of the season to prep for next season. So, let's do that. So, in this video, I will talk about a few things you can do before the end of the season that would help you for next season. Um, I also wanted to really thank folks uh, for supporting the channel. I know previously I talked about how you know, my, I had a lot of growth, but not a lot of subscribers actually watching videos. I'll put a graphic comparing the two as of late. So again, I really appreciate the help and the support of the folks uh, joining the uh, channel. So first off, let's talk about what you can do to prep for next season. So a couple of quick tips I will give you guys is obviously being able to grind up your XP as quickly as possible is going to be really important. And the easiest way to do this is going to be doing your weekly bounties. Those give the most points, the most XP. So for instance, let me come over to Zavala and you'll see that I have, for instance, already done one of these and I have other bounties I can do this week. What I, what I would recommend you do is every week you can for the rest of the season, grab the weekly bounties. And when you're doing that, grab your dailies too. Uh, they will give you XP and actually the repeatables at the end will also give you bright dust. The weeklies, again, from Crucible, from Gambit, and from Zavala for strikes, will not only give you more XP, but they'll also give you Bright Dust. And obviously, some of these rotate where you can't hold them. So if I go into my quests, you'll see that I've already saved up a good number of these. And you'll notice, obviously, you have kind of your, your dailies, which don't give you as much. Um, you also have your weeklies. You can actually um, hoard some of these. I also have done some from the moon. Those will also give you a lot of XP. And even some of the ones from Banshee will also give you a good amount of XP. But you'll notice, you know, I have some strike ones here. And even, let me show you one thing real quick. You'll notice that these strike ones here, I've gotten close to completing them, but I haven't. One of the things that's annoying about some of these bounties is that, you notice this one, I've completed the strike numbers, but I haven't got a Cabal boss. Well, one thing about the strikes I've noticed from week to week is that the week that you have, I think the RNG for which strikes show up is based on how many people are playing with them. And so, for instance, on the weeks that you go in and want to do the Cabal, everyone's trying to do that. So because of that, you'll probably have less of a chance. So what I do is I do the strikes maybe one or two, three times. And if I'm not getting the Cabal one, I'll just wait. And you'll see I still have 23 hours because this is the one from the previous week. I can still go into this week and I can find more Cabal bosses and that'll happen pretty quickly. So again, that's what I typically do with these. Obviously, the Crucible ones are pretty easy. Um, typically, even if you're not doing what's on the, uh, if you're not doing what's specifically in these, if you play about four to five matches, even not trying to maximize what is actually the objective of these, those are usually pretty clear and you'll be able to clear them pretty quickly. Um, and then also with Gambit, Gambit's pretty simple. What I also do with Gambit is sometimes Gambit, some of the bounties, the weekly bounties are pretty easy to get. But then this one, for instance, the casting supers, defeating enemy supers, that one's a little more difficult. So what I'll do is if I start on one week, I'll go the next week when I pick up the rest of my weekly bounties for Gambit. I'll just go ahead and say, hey, let me go ahead and finish this one this week also, right? Because again, you can grind through them as much as you want. You could get all those done in one week. But I try, again, as a part-time guardian, I try to, to maximize my play time. And so I kind of do them week over week. So again, weekly bounties with both the Moon, um, with Banshee, and with the primary vendors. If you need to fill things in and you want to do things outside of this, you'll want to stick to Year 1 or Moon daily bounties. You won't want to do the areas like Dreaming City or things like that because they actually don't give you as much XP. So that, at least from an XP perspective, I did this last season across three characters. I was able to get up to level 15 in my past pretty quickly. So again, and then also when you're turning them in next season, one thing you'll want to make sure you do is you'll want to make sure that you have one of the ghosts that gives you additional uh, gives you additional XP as you're dropping those bounties. That'll be good. And if you really, really want to tweak it, I've done this before. If you get in a fire team with other people who've started leveling them up, they get a you get a bonus as you level your season pass up that gives you additional XP bonuses. If you get in a group that has all of those, they actually compound on top of each other. So again, that can use that can be pretty good. So again, those are really, really good. Um, the other thing you're gonna make sure you maximize is uh, in your 
inventory, so obviously quests, you can get the 63 per character, so clear out everything. But within your inventory, um, you one thing you want to make sure is you get as much materials as possible. So, you know, whether it's phase glass, my, uh, helium filaments, things like that, because those things allow you to quickly, um, you know, level up or you, as you're as you're trying to level up your weapons and things like that, you'll need some of these uh, to actually do that with its armor or weapons. And so one thing I do is I'll go to the spider and the spider typically, if you wait the last few weeks of the season, you can actually show up there and you can trade in Glimmer to get different ones. If you go on multiple days, you'll eventually be able to find the one you're missing. I'm in pretty decent shape, I think. Yeah, I'm in pretty decent shape. And then uh, besides that, obviously anything you do to get enhancement cores, or if you want to grind out a few of the Nightfalls to get other prisms or some shards, those will be helpful too as you're trying to level things up. And then the other thing I, I do like to do is I like to hold on to some of my like Crucible tokens or my, you know, the strike tokens because, and obviously <laughs> gunsmith materials, which I have way too many of, because those are useful as you're trying to level your armor and weapons up. As you try to level them up and get higher and higher, you'll notice that you'll have like a couple things that are really high level and maybe something that's not. You can go to the vendors and you can go and just cycle through these tokens. And that's a good way to kind of fill in the gaps and flatten things out. So again, those are a couple things um, you can do right now in the game kind of get yourself prepared for next season. It'll allow you to grind up your XP quicker. It'll allow you to upgrade your weapons quicker. And again, with the season being a little light in content, uh, that's one of the things I would recommend you doing. So again, I hope you liked the video. I really appreciate the support. If you can, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel while I sit here and chill with Zavala. And again, I'll see you guardians in the tower.